So hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Sorry I have been late with the uploads, but I am trying the best that I can. So jumping straight into it, I have this office chair, this old office chair. I actually have two of these um, that I got from like an office when they were closing or they were getting all new furniture. I've had these for a while and I've been wanting to DIY them, turn one of them into my um, vanity chairs. Um, or maybe like live room accent chairs, but I don't have room for live room accent chairs right now. So um, what I'm going to do is just turn this one into a vanity chair and I'm going to take you along through that process and show you how I do it. I was supposed to do this so long ago, but um, that's a whole nother story for a different day. I'm finally getting a chance to do it. So just keep watching if you want to see what I come up with. So I'm going to start by spray painting all the legs, but I'm trying to decide on what color. So this is my favorite brand of spray paint um, right now. It's the Rust-Oleum, the two times ultra cover. I just feels like for most of the time, this stuff like one coat um, is, is all you need, but I always do two coats, but I can't decide if I want to do this metallic or this gold. I did make some samples. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing one chair in the gold and one chair in the silver so I can switch it up because I just honestly cannot decide which one I want to go with. But let me show you really quick um, what is going on the seat. Okay, so if you can remember the DIY when I made the backdrop and I had this um, fabric for the little fake rug, um, I got it for other projects and this is one of the projects. That I want to use it for so these colors are going to go up against um, the fur so like I really love the gold but I also love that metallic silver too I think I'm going to go ahead and just do this one gold and if I don't if I want the silver one in the future then I'll just um, I'll do the other one in silver yeah but I think I'm gonna go with the gold but let me know in the comments which one you think I should have picked. So I'm just going to go ahead off camera and take this outside and spray paint it really quick. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting the spray paint on the seats. If it does, that's fine because it's getting covered later. But I'm not going to do it on camera because it's getting really dark and we all know how to spray paint things. At least I think we do. So um, I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back to show you how that looks. Okay, so now that I have the arms and the legs all painted gold. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure for the fabric that I have. Um, I did get some spray paint on the chair, but that's fine because we're gonna cover the fabric. Um, I am going to measure, sorry for the noise, but I'm going to measure from all the way from here to around to this part to the bottom. And then I'm gonna measure the width all the way from here all the way across so that I can cut the exact measurement. I'm going to lay this fabric down and measure it, mark it, and cut it. Okay, so I'm trying to show you right here, but for some reason I can't get my camera to focus but there's like a under part when you're cutting um fabric so if you can just like slide your your scissors underneath the this little thinnest part of the fabric it'll peel apart the fur like easy instead of like chopping straight through the fur if that makes sense. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go off camera to finish this part up. I just wanted to show you that if you are cutting fur, there is like where you can slide your scissors underneath. I don't suggest cutting fur with a rotary cutter because um, it, it'll just shred your fur and get your fur all over the place. So use scissors and slide your um, blade or whatever or your scissors underneath that little piece of backing fabric. Okay, so I'm done cutting the fabric and that fur literally got everywhere. It's flying all around the room. So ignore it if you can see it. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and drape this over the chair 
And I'm going to line up the bottom first. So that way if I was off with my measurements, then the mistake will show in the back. But I was really precise. So I, don't, I actually think I may have excess in the back that I may have to cut off. I'm going to use a glue gun to just secure this around the perimeter because I forgot to get um, the fabric spray or the spray adhesive. I still was going to use my glue gun anyway, but what I was going to do is, what you can do if you do this is, um, so I'm going to use the glue gun around the edges, but I would like to have sprayed some type of adhesive across this part so it won't like do this action. But what I'm going to do to help kind of prevent that is I'm going to put glue along the edges and I'm also going to stick glue right in the back of this little crack back here and I'm going to tuck the fabric into that. So as soon as my glue gun heats up, I'm going to do that and probably just speed through this part. to secure this side with a little bit of needle and thread because I overlapped it a little bit too much so I'm just taking a needle through and tightening that up a little bit so this is the final look guys what do you think I love it I think it came out so nice I'm happy that I picked the gold um it's just something about the gold that i love so yeah um if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe guys we are almost at 1000 thank you so much for watching and until the next one bye